Okay, so we're just day two now, just getting ready for uh, launching a boat in the river. It's uh, a bit of a different channel here. We've got um, uh, much steeper banks, higher banks, um, quite a bit of uh, vegetation here. You can see that. This is more a typical launch site compared to the one we uh, were on yesterday. So we're going to go and push the boat down through that. I've had permission off the landowner. Just spoke to him on the phone this morning as well. So uh, let's see how this goes. In the boat in there. And there we are, safely in the water. Taking some points on the bridge to work out at what point the water would flow over the parapet or around it in this case, because this is a humpback bridge. Um, we always work in a two man team on rivers or three man or even four man. Mm, lovely old bridge, this one. Um, the purple loose strife there. And onwards. A few little chublets in there. So this is Pollington Bridge. See, at one point it's been widened. So the amount of water you can get through these tunnels is actually, when you see it on the video, it's actually um, not as much as you can see from the outside. There's, a, there's another arch inside, so that would need picking up to get the true capacity of the bridge. And sometimes it's not all about being a surveyor. You have to know how to do other things as well. And this morning, uh, when we tried the outboard, it just didn't work. And uh, we didn't have the toolkit, which is in the outboard available. It wasn't in there, it was not there. So I've had to bring the outboard back and uh, repair it. So you have to um, be a bit of a... Um, person with mechanics and things as well but it wasn't very difficult to be honest all we had to do was uh, clean the spark plugs as usual with a uh, two-stroke outboard that's the kind of thing that you have to do so we took those out cleaned them and it went straight away and Fortunately, uh, we were able to carry on today without uh, the outboard, uh, so with paddles. So all is not lost. Um, but being a surveyor is not just learning how to survey. It's all about uh, logistics, really. Certainly with rivers, anyway. Cheers.